How to buy flowers for your girlfriend. Sure, you could go online and send the first flowers you see, but a little thought and planning will go a long way toward impressing her. You will need a friend or relative of the recipient and some knowledge of flowers. Step one. If she's ever mentioned a favorite flower, buy that. You'll get bonus points for listening to her. If you have no clue, ask a friend or relative of hers what she likes. Step two. If you can think of a bloom related to your relationship, like the ones on the table on your first date, send those with a card noting the connection. Step three, resist the urge to send roses, which don't show much imagination. Surveys show that when women buy flowers for themselves, they usually select more exotic blooms. If you want to send a fragrant flower, go for gardenias, lilies of the valley, lilacs, freesia, or sweet peas. Hardy tropical types that won't wilt overnight include anthuriums, birds of paradise, and ginger. Bouvardias, chrysanthemums, and Gerbera daisies are also long-lasting. Step four, think about the message. Forget-me-nots stand for faithful love. Gardenias say, I love you in secret. Hibiscus represent delicate beauty, and sunflowers signal devotion. Color counts too. Red means love, orange signals desire, pink conveys appreciation, yellow means friendship, and white represents purity. A pretty bouquet doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg, but beware of carnations. Because they're so inexpensive, they can make you look cheap. Step five, take time to visit a local florist rather than calling an 800 number or ordering online. She's more apt to get fresh, quality flowers. Plus, you'll be able to write the card yourself. A gallant touch she'll love. Tell the florist to leave out the greenery. No ferns, no baby's breath, no nothing. You want flowers, not filler. Step six. If she works outside the home, have them delivered to her office, where she'll have more time to enjoy them. Plus, she'll get to show them off to the jealous co-workers. Step seven, send flowers for no reason at all. She just might be moved to return the favor with her own romantic gesture. Did you know? According to a book published in 2004, 15% of US women send themselves flowers on Valentine's Day.